Okay, well here's a completely unexpected surprise that happened today when I was working on another project and uh, it failed. It failed miserably and I started fiddling around with what was left over of the project and ended up with this. See that little tiny wire here? Coming around here. That's a one wire feed using uh, two diodes, one going one way, one going the other way, called an Averminkle plug, driving that little uh, machine. It's one of those uh, advertiser waving machines. Uses very little energy, but what it says and what's amazing is I'm using a crystal oscillator to do this. That's a one megahertz crystal oscillator with an extremely simple circuit running off of a nine volt battery. This is the circuit, and uh, this is a one-wire energy transmission using a crystal oscillator, and uh, that's me. This is the 13th of July, 2013, and this is the the radio transmitter circuit, basically, and I tried to make this. Uh, you put a feed in here to modulate this crystal, and it's supposed to transmit, and I tried and tried and tried, and it just, uh, for some reason, completely failed. And it might be this crystal oscillator's not right, but I tried it with a 13 uh, megahertz crystal oscillator, and it wouldn't work either. But both of these, both of these crystal oscillators, one's 1 megahertz, one's 13 megahertz, does this. If I put a 22 microhenry choke right in there, and it was fairly critical, that value, and then go to this Averminkle plug, use an earth ground, right here which uh, just helps that it. it's not totally necessary but it just helps it out and then I put a uh, 1k potentiometer here just to be able to control the uh, current and the voltage on it and it uh, it does that let me show you the LED part here this is uh, an, an a, uh, LED on a couple of uh, diodes uh, Averminkle plug So anyway, that's uh, what I wanted to share today was this uh, idea of using a crystal oscillator. Uh, that's the whole thing right there with a real simple circuit to be able to get a feed down one wire. Now here's an oscilloscope I have hooked up. I don't have it uh, um, connected, but uh, it's a computer oscilloscope. It's not real good, but it gives me an idea what's going on. Let me connect this. I'll put the uh, ground to the ground. Then I'm going to connect the probe to the output of the crystal oscillator. And there's my, I don't know if this camera is going to pick that up, but that's right at about 1 megahertz with about uh, 7.8 peak to peak on that waveform. Now the 13 megahertz crystal gives me a pure sine wave, but this one's chopped. And this uh, crystal oscillator might be slightly damaged, I don't know. But that's the waveform uh, that I'm getting right there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the probe to the other side of the inductor, other side of the choke, and watch what happens. Look at that nice waveform. <laughs> Who knows what that's all about. Peak to peak went to 13.81. Still running at 1 megahertz, but on 13.81 peak to peak on that waveform. So anyway, I just thought I would share this. Uh, the electronics guys, I'm sure, will just uh, know all about this and think this was kind of juvenile and stupid. But uh, let me tell you, we we tried to do this. A bunch of us run something down one wire and get it to transmit power uh, for a long time you know and there was there several uh, ways to do it but uh, this idea of using a crystal oscillator uh, to, to get up the high frequency and then shove that energy down that longitudinal wire and uh, not use a ground path just split it right here you split it with these switching diodes these are one in 4148 switching diodes and we have Dr. Stifler to thank for that and he taught us and taught us and taught us about how these things work 
and there's the little machine running off one wire and here's uh, here's another way to show it this is another Averminkle plug another couple of those diodes this is drawn about uh, 20 milliamps on the 9 volt battery right there uh, I can turn it down to about uh, 10 to 15 it'll also run uh, all the way down to 3 volts and that's when the oscillator stops running so anyway, that's my little uh, discovery for today. It was a failure that turned into a pleasant surprise. Thanks for watching.